Hello, hello, and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host, Aurora, and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are in a good place. And if you're not, I hope that by the end of this episode, you're going to feel a little bit better, feel empowered, hopeful for the future, and yeah, just good about yourself. The better you know yourself, the better you feel about yourself, the happier you are, the better decisions you will make in the future for yourself and for others. You will not make decisions for others, but your decisions will deeply affect others. If you like this podcast, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to give me a five-star review, go on to po Apple Podcast and live, uh, leave uh, <laughs> sorry, <gasps> a little review there. I would appreciate so much. Today I want to talk about life. <laughs> Just a small side topic. Um, why does life seem so unfair at times? Why are we being faced with decisions that are impossible to make in order to make everybody involved happy? Why is it that so many people live in poverty, other people live in crazy richness? Why is it that you keep trying so hard, but it seems like you keep failing? What is it that makes life so unbearable at times? Well, my friend, the sad <laughs> the sad thing is, and maybe the good thing at the same time, is that it is part of life. You know, the people who seem successful, always content, always happy, they go through intense stuff as well. And they may be only successful because they went through so much stressful pain that they just got tired of it and kept fighting and just are living their best self right now and enjoying their life. When you look at rich people, successful people, Please never think that they had an easy path. They were able to overcome adversity and have a mindset that allows them to be successful. So why is it though that we face situations where we feel that life is totally unfair? I feel we feel that way when we give power away when we feel we are a victim of circumstances when we feel life is unfair unpredictably and don't get me wrong there's things that happen that nobody can explain and pain that people have to go through and you just think when is it gonna stop like didn't that person get enough, like didn't that person have enough on their plate already? But I want to tell you a little secret today on how I learned to approach situations that seem hopeless, situations where I'm like, holy shit, like why me? Why do I have to go through this? Didn't I go through enough already? I learned to see difficult situations as an opportunity to grow and to learn. Because again, successful people don't have an easy life, don't have a never fail, never making mistakes life, an easy path. They fail many, many times. They get rejected many, many times. But they don't count the failures, they count their little successes. They look at their failure and see 
What can I learn from it? Can I learn from it? Yes, no. If no, move on. If yes, what am I supposed to learn from it? Now, if you are faced with a situation where you feel like, oh my God, like, what am I going to do? Why is it happening to me? Just go inwards. And try to ask yourself, what is the secret message here? What am I supposed to learn? I had a friend reaching out to me the other day and he said, ah, oh, I've been so lonely during COVID. And now I met this girl and she's so sweet. We expressed our feelings the other day. But now I'm going to be leaving here for in the next 10 days for a year, I think he said, to live far, far away from her. Why is the universe, God, whatever you believe in, why is it testing me? He asked me. And the only answer I could really give him there was, I feel you need to find out what is best for you and this little love story that starts to blossom here is going to be tested. Every love story is going to be tested. There's no deep, meaningful love story that went through and was not tested. So I think your story there with this beautiful girl is being tested and you're supposed to make a right decision maybe in the past you were that kind of person who is always pleasing everybody you make decisions to make other people feel comfortable and maybe this time around you're supposed to learn to feel what is right for yourself do you want to take that job and explore new territories at the same time keep in touch with this girl and have a long distance relationship you know it's just for one year or do you want to reject that job and stay in your comfort zone and start a serious relationship with that girl I want you at the end of the day to be proud of yourself. I want you to feel secure and wanted in your relationships. So I'm more for a move outside of your comfort zone. Because when we do these moves, we not only test our little relationships that we have around ourselves, we test ourselves and We put ourselves in a situation where we will grow and blossom. And yeah, we might go through failure, but we also might as well succeed very well. And to miss out on that experience, on that opportunity, is a big thing. But of course, you're going to find out for yourself. This is just my little advice. Some people lose everything overnight. Gambling, a house fire, your wife has cheated on you and you know there's no way out, you will have to separate, you get fired, you lose your job and you just sit there for a while and think, why me? Why is this all happening to me? And you put yourself into that victim mentality again, you, you are the victim of life, you are the victim of society. You are the victim of circumstances. And I'm here to tell you that, yes, you can sit in that victim mentality for a little bit, but you can also, after a little while, get up and see what is it trying to teach me here. And I know some situations are so hopeless And so painful and devastating that you will not feel like standing up and asking yourself that question. But 
for me, it proved to be the only way to get out of it and to know, okay, I'm supposed to be learning to be independent. I'm supposed to be feeling my worth, my beauty, my preciousness outside of this relationship that I was so dependent on. I'm supposed to learn to, if I attach to my money and all my belongings and it's all been taken away from me overnight, that I'm still endlessly worthy and beautiful and an important member of society. I feel you know what I'm trying to say here. There will be situations until you die that feel hopeless, that feel crazy painful. But at the end of the day, you can see them as liberation from something old. And if you have the right mindset, if you can focus on what am I supposed to learn, where can I go to find support, and where can I go to move on from all this mess, then you can not only grow and be so proud of yourself in the end, but also feel empowered and not as a victim anymore. There's women out there who keep getting abused by their husbands and there's husbands out there who keep getting abused by their wives. And they keep staying in this situation because Sometimes they feel they deserve it. They've been bad in the past and now they deserve that shitty treatment. But you deserve so much goodness, so much appreciation. You deserve to be heard and seen and felt. And you have to stand up for yourself. You have to learn to set boundaries and to ha you have to learn that you are not a victim of situations. Sometimes you are an enabler. Sometimes you are allowing people to treat you the way they treat you. And you have to speak up. You have to leave a situation. And you have to do everything in your power to put yourself in a safe, empowered situation again. Sometimes with help of others, sometimes all by yourself. But never feel too shy, too ashamed to reach out for help. Thank you for listening to this episode here. I hope you know how endlessly precious you are. And we need you to be out there shining your light. We need you to set clear boundaries in order for people to know how to treat you. We need you to express yourself because your light is so incredibly precious out here on planet Earth. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave me a review on Apple Podcasts. And if you have any questions, if you have any requests, message me on Facebook. Let me know that you're a listener of this podcast and I will get back to you right away talk to you and if you feel like you need a little bit more you need a one-on-one -on -one session you need meditation or a little bit more guidance feel free to reach out to me as well and i can help you out thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and i will be out there very soon again